Brief history of the vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner, also known simply as a vacuum or a hoover, is a device that causes suction in order to remove dirt from floors, upholstery, draperies, and other surfaces. It is generally electrically driven. The dirt is collected by either a dust bag or a cyclone for later disposal. Vacuum cleaners, which are used in homes as well as in industry, exist in a variety of sizes and models small battery-powered handheld devices, wheeled canister models for home use, domestic central vacuum cleaners, huge stationary industrial appliances that can handle several hundred liters of dust before being emptied, and self-propelled vacuum trucks for recovery of large spills or removal of contaminated soil. Specialized shop vacuums can be used to suck up both dust and liquids. Although vacuum cleaner and the short form vacuum are neutral names, in some countries Hoover is used instead as a genericized trademark, and as a verb. The name comes from the Hoover Company, one of the first and more influential companies in the development of the device. In New Zealand, particularly the Southland region, it is sometimes called a lux, likewise a genericized trademark and used as a verb. The device is also sometimes called a sweeper although the same term also refers to a carpet sweeper, a similar invention. The vacuum cleaner evolved from the carpet sweeper via manual vacuum cleaners. The first manual models, using bellows, were developed in the 1860s, and the first motorized designs appeared at the turn of the 20th century, with the first decade being the boom decade. Manual vacuums. Patent model of Daniel Hess's carpet sweeper in 1860 A manual vacuum cleaner was invented by Daniel Hess of West Union, Iowa. Called a carpet sweeper, it gathered dust with a rotating brush and had a bellows for generating suction. Another early model was the whirlwind, invented in Chicago in 1868 by Ives W. McGaffey. The bulky device worked with a belt-driven fan cranked by hand that made it awkward to operate, although it was commercially marketed with mixed success. A similar model was constructed by Melville R. Bissell of Grand Rapids, Michigan in 1876, who also manufactured carpet sweepers. The company later added portable vacuum cleaners to its line of cleaning tools. Powered vacuum cleaners. The end of the 19th century saw the introduction of powered cleaners, although early types used some variation of blowing air to clean instead of suction. One appeared in 1898 when John South, Thurman of St. Louis, Missouri submitted a patent for a pneumatic carpet renovator which blew dust into a receptacle. Thurman's system, powered by an internal combustion engine, traveled to the customer's residence on a horse-drawn wagon as part of a door-to-door cleaning service. Corrine Dufour of Savannah, Georgia received two patents in 1899 and 1900 for another blown air system that seems to have featured the first use of an electric motor. In 1901 powered vacuum cleaners using suction were invented independently by British engineer Hubert Cecil Booth and American inventor David T. Kenny. Booth also may have coined the word vacuum cleaner. Booth's horse-drawn combustion engine-powered puffing billy, may be derived from Thurman's blown air design, relied upon just suction with air pumped through a cloth filter and was offered as part of his cleaning services. Kenny's was a stationary 4,000-pound steam engine-powered system with pipes and hoses reaching into all parts of the building. Domestic vacuum cleaner, a hand-powered pneumatic vacuum cleaner, circa 1910. An early electric-powered model is also shown the first vacuum cleaning device to be portable and marketed at the domestic market was built in 1905 by Walter Griffiths, a manufacturer in Birmingham, England. His Griffiths improved vacuum apparatus for removing dust from carpets resembled modern-day cleaners it was portable, easy to store, and powered by any one person, who would have the task of compressing a bellows-like contraption to suck up dust through a removable, flexible pipe, to which a variety of shaped nozzles could be attached. In 1906 James B. Kirby developed his first of many vacuums called the domestic cyclone. It used water for dirt separation. Later revisions came to be known as the Kirby Vacuum Cleaner. In 1907 department store janitor James Murray Spangler of Canton, Ohio invented the first portable electric vacuum cleaner, obtaining a patent for the electric suction sweeper on 2 June 1908. Crucially, in addition to suction from an electric fan that blew the dirt and dust into a soapbox and one of his wife's pillowcases, Spangler's design utilized a rotating brush to loosen debris. 
Unable to produce the design himself due to lack of funding, he sold the patent in 1908 to local leather goods manufacturer William Henry Hoover, who had Spangler's machine redesigned with a steel casing, casters, and attachments, founding the company that in 1922 was renamed the Hoover Company. Their first vacuum was the 1908 Model O, which sold for 60. Subsequent innovations included the beater bar in 1919, disposal filter bags in the 1920s, and an upright vacuum cleaner in 1926. In continental Europe, the Fisker & Nielsen Company in Denmark was the first to sell vacuum cleaners in 1910. The design weighed just 39 pounds and could be operated by a single person. The Swedish company Electrolux launched their Model V in 1921 with the innovation of being able to lie on the floor on two thin metal runners. In the 1930s the Germany company Vorwerk started marketing vacuum cleaners of their own design which they sold through direct sales. Post-Second World War, for many years after their introduction, vacuum cleaners remained a luxury item, but after the Second World War, they became common among the middle classes. Vacuums tend to be more common in Western countries because in most other parts of the world, wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is uncommon and homes have tile or hardwood floors, which are easily swept, wiped or mopped manually without power assist. The last decades of the 20th century saw the more widespread use of technologies developed earlier, including filterless cyclonic dirt separation, central vacuum systems and rechargeable hand-held vacuums. In addition, miniaturized computer technology and improved batteries allowed the development of a new type of machine the autonomous robotic vacuum cleaner. In 1997 Electrolux of Sweden demonstrated the Electrolux Trilobite, the first autonomous cordless robotic vacuum cleaner on the BBC TV program Tomorrow's World, introducing it to the consumer market in 2001. In 2004 a British company released Airider, a hovering vacuum cleaner that floats on a cushion of air, similar to a hovercraft. It has claimed to be lightweight and easier to maneuver compared to using wheels, although it is not the first vacuum cleaner to do this the Hoover Constellation predated it by at least 35 years. A bridge-itish inventor has developed a new cleaning technology known as air recycling technology, which, instead of using a vacuum, uses an airstream to collect dust from the carpet. This technology was tested by the market transformation program and shown to be more energy efficient than the vacuum method. Although working prototypes exist, air recycling technology is not currently used in any production cleaner.